Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Kodai. I'm an assistant professor in uh, Sairam Engineering College. My husband is an IT guy. He works for Hexavai Technologies. Currently, he is deputed for his on-site project to US. And we have one beautiful daughter, Ditya, the girl who's roaming around in the hall. She is uh, almost eight. She's going from second to third standard. So my um, exploration part started way before UHV. Whereas after coming to UHV, I'm getting to know what are the reasons behind the things that is happening previously. So when you see me uh, externally, I'll be a very uh, jovial, jolly, always smiling. So that kind of person, I don't uh, show the internal me out. So as someone said, no, uh, I have a self which is hidden behind, but my expressions are different out. So because of this kind of nature of mine, I have a lot of internal conflicts. Um, so these internal conflicts will lead to a outburst sta stage where that will be like a volcano. So that was my problem. So this I started exploring. So um, when I exploring, so this UHP content gave me some glimpse. So the reason being uh, the family which I had before marriage. No, uh, many of you were sharing that there is a difference of religion, there is a difference of uh, customs and all that uh, before marriage and after marriage. For, but for me, it's totally different. <laughs> so the uh, parents, the family which I belong before marriage, my uh, grandfather, my father were all related to self. After uh, going through this content, I could relate. So every one of us were giving only importance to the self. Whereas the uh, family which I married to, they are very much related to the body. So that's the conflict I'm facing. <laughs> so from the beginning, they are, the family which I married to, they are very supportive in all terms. I don't have any opposition. They uh, have only one son, that's my husband. So I'm literally their daughter. They give me all sort of support. They take care of me as a daughter. But even after all that, I couldn't relate myself to them so much so that feeling of I will I'll not say that it's an opposition but I couldn't have that innateness with them so I was searching for the reason why is it so they are all so positive they are supporting me even then I'm having that difference why is that so I could feel that isolation of myself so after getting into this content I explored much then I identified and the reason being they are all much related to body, which I'm not able to accept. For example, the, all the dresses that I wear, they buy me, which are very, very costly. They will buy me with wholeheartedness and they ex uh, expect me to wear it with happiness. But for me, as being brought up from the family, which gives much importance to self, not to the bodily materialistic things, I feel uncom uncomfortable wearing all that. So that was the issue I was facing from the beginning of marriage. So it is nine years now. Now I learned, now I've been understanding that they are just giving importance to materialistic things. So as we know self, we have to try to accustom the things and we have to make them understand which is more important. So that is what is the understanding and exploration and contemplation of a relationship. Next is the shift that I have is that because of my inner conflicts, I was in a stage where, again, I could relate to uh, someone. I was in a, a stage where I should run out of my house. I couldn't manage my in internal conflicts. I couldn't say it out. I couldn't share it out because people couldn't relate me what I'm going through. So I felt like I was going out. I can go somewhere else. I don't want to go to my parents also. I don't want to go to my uh, um, in-laws house also I, I thought of going out so after this uh, content and all I was able to analyze what is the problem what is the root cause of the problem and now I think I will be able to sort out so that is a shift and future plans and commitments so specific plan is that I uh, which I identify yesterday so the exercise that they gave us no exercise one and exercise two Initially, I had a problem observing myself. 
I can't do that. If I sit for observing myself, because as because I was not resolved about the past, I will not have the patience to sit and think about me. I wanted myself to engage with something so that I don't have that pause of analyzing the self. So this observation, the exercise that they gave, now I'm able to sit in a place or, uh, or somewhere else. I, I'm going through the self of myself. I'm going to observe. I'm going through all that. So yesterday when I was thinking something like that, I got, to, I got an idea of ha having an observation sheet. So for each and every moment, what I feel I can note it down in that. So I prepared it as an Excel sheet and I shared with Nidhi Didi also, I think. Sri Darshni and uh, yeah, Nidhi Didi. So we are all used to the gadgets, right? So whenever I feel whatever the opposition, what is the feeling, how long I'm having, what is the conflict, all that I can note it out in the Excel sheet in my phone itself. So that on an average, I can calculate where is the center of my being. So that is a specific plan for self-development. Role in human education, as I mentioned earlier, I'm very much satisfied about sharing this content to the students because like me, many students are having conflict between the self and the bodily things, which they are not very clear about. Many of my students are very much interested towards a job which is giving them more money, but they are not sure whether that money is going to give them happiness or not. So that is a role. I feel as a teacher, I must take up as a priority. So that is a role in my human education. Commitment for participation is, I have joined in the morning sessions. So morning sessions, via the sharing of our co-explorers, I could relate my own things. Be it the examples of their own examples or whatever be the situations, the feel that they get out of it is similar to mine. I could relate to that. So which is also resolving my own self through those ex explorations and uh, example sharing. So I would commit myself to all the morning sessions that is available as far as possible. So that is my commitment. So I request all the resource persons and the team of UHP for giving us such a clarity and uh, such a support to solve, resolve ourselves and connect ourselves and body and move to the next level. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.